Hi, and welcome to Wednesday Vespers. My name is Anna, and I'm glad that you could join me today. I was excited when I realized that I would be preparing Wednesday Vespers uh, in the middle of Advent, or at the beginning of Advent, I guess. And uh, I, was really, I was really excited about that. But then I was struck by how, in my heart, there was a real mix of the joy and anticipation, but also sorrow. Um, I was really kind of caught off guard. Um, but it reminded me again that Advent is, a, is about preparation. Advent is about the things not yet made complete. It's a season that's not necessarily a happy or a good feeling time because we live in the uncomfortable in between where things are not yet as they should be. So we feel the discomfort of a world not yet made new. We know the feeling of hollowness in our hearts as we wait for hope to be fulfilled. And this is the key. This is the promise that we wait with hope. We do not wait empty handed without purpose or direction. We wait with bated breath for the renewal of all things for the redeeming of the whole created order. And we wait knowing that our Redeemer lives. We have hope in the place of despair because Jesus lives, having already conquered death itself. As we move into this Christmas season, let's consider where we find ourselves, where we find our hearts, and try to recenter our attention on the person and the power of Jesus, our risen Savior, who is God with us. So we'll open our time today with the, the, the song of calling and invitation for our Emmanuel to come. Please join along when, you, when you're able.
So let's invite Jesus to come. Please pray along with me. I speak the words in bold as they come up. Come, Lord Jesus. Come as King. Rule in our hearts. Come as love. Rule in our minds. Come as peace. Rule in our actions. Come as power. Rule in our days. Come as joy. Rule in our darkness. Come as light. Rule in our bodies. Come as health. Rule in our labors. Come as hope. Thy kingdom come among us. As I mentioned um, earlier, I was really struck by kind of the discord in my heart thinking about Advent. And I had this Easter song stuck in my head and I was really struck by that. I was sharing with Jeff, my husband, that it's just so strange to have this Easter song running through my mind as I'm thinking about Christmas. But then it dawned on me that the language of this song is Christmas language. They talk about come and see, come and see the King of Love, which just echoes the, the, the actions and the words of the shepherds to me and of the wise men seeking and finding. And then they talk about worshiping at his feet, which again, every person in the Christmas story comes and worships at the feet of Jesus. But in this song, anyway, it's not baby Jesus. It's Jesus, the man of sorrows upon the cross. Advent is a time then to feel and to think and to process, a time to ready our hearts for the coming of God with us, to consider our role in Jesus' death. The shepherds didn't know how Jesus' life was going to end, and they didn't know the implications of that end, what that would mean for us. But we do. And so we have all the more cause to come and see and to worship at his feet. Please join me as we consider and reflect on the person of Jesus. This might be a, a new song for you. It's a very old song, really. Um, sing along if you know the words.
Christ, our Advent hope. Bare brown trees etched dark across a winter sky, leaves fallen and rustling, ground hard and cold, remind us to prepare for your coming. Remind us to prepare for the time when the soles of your feet will touch the ground, when you will become one of us, to be at one with us. Let's continue in worship of Jesus our King.
bring me home. And day by day, I know he will renew me until I stand with joy before. Amen. Yet not I, but through Christ in me. Christ in me, the hope of glory. Powerful promise and intention to move into this season with. Yet not I, but through Christ. God of all hope and joy, open our hearts in welcome that your son, Jesus Christ, at his coming, may find in us a dwelling prepared for himself, who lives and who reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever. Thank you for joining us for Wednesday Vespers. Rich blessings from the Father to you and your families.